uh, my factory here at Christensen Surfboards in North County, San Diego, and Moonlight Glassing. I started shaping surfboards in 1991. Back where I grew up, I grew up near Long Beach, and my first board I shaped in my dad's backyard. My neighbor uh, was from Hawaii, he had a garage set up. Every week he was making surfboards, and I'd just sit there and watch and watch and watch, and then I just said, hey, I want to make a surfboard one day, and then he's like, all right, and then he got a blank and figured it all out. I borrowed all his tools, killed my dad's lawn. So now it's become a business, and it's been good to me. I feel like uh, I am kind of like an on-call doctor sometimes, and then there's a lot of logistics getting them. Shit, I gotta get this thing to Portugal, I gotta get this thing here, and a lot of times it's like, I can't find the logistics. In the board bag they go off the airport, I go and I get them there. <laughs> this is a board for Tom Lowe for Nazare. We're actually doing three leash plugs now. And that all started when Greg had his accident in Cortez Bank. When I got his board back, there was only one leash plug left intact. I actually had nightmares about it with like, what if that last one came out? And so now I do three. <laughs> building big wave boards is, is no different than building parachutes. They have to work. Ian Walsh is probably my best source of feedback when it comes to big wave surfing and small wave surfing. And we go back and forth all the way down to fins. One of the favorite stories is how him and I designed fins for his Jaws boards. He'll FedEx them from Maui to here, I'll get them. I'll reshape the fins just little by little, FedEx them back. We do that cycle twice in one week. Those little eighth of an inch make a huge difference in design. Gosh, about 15, 20 years ago, I got to meet the artist Jeff McFetrich, and we've always stayed in touch. We have a lot in common. He just did some work in uh, Spike Jones's new movie that's coming out. This board is actually a birthday present for Spike Jones. Yeah, I like design a lot of stuff, and sometimes I'll design it all in here. I'll sit at that little desk and sketch, but I designed these sunglasses for electric. These are the Rogue Glacier model. It's got all these little interchangeable parts and side cups. This thing I'm pretty excited about. I actually shaped the blank. There's no computers or nothing, just all by hand, analog style, no CAD, no nothing. And then I make the mold out of foam, and then what I did is I fiberglass it with a ton of layers. Then once that dried, I dug out all the foam and then that developed the mold. And this is the first model that we had a lot of success with. This is actually the third generation of the Storm Chaser. You know, I get a lot of surfers on this that kind of gave up on snowboarding or they're back into it now because there's so much ground game involved with these. And I actually gave one of these to Ian Walsh last year. Ian's a really good snowboarder. Actually, him and I are real competitive with each other with our snowboarding. And Ian rips on these things. The crazy thing is, is like, I'm still using the same simple tools. If there's just one thing I could save in this, in this whole room or factory, it'd probably be this brick. And this is a brick I pulled out of my parents' planter box when I made my first surfboard because I had these janky old racks. I'm at about 26,000 boards now and it's still the same brick. This book right here, this is like, you know, when I'm taking notes and rocker, Again, you know, nothing's in a computer, I just handwrite it, you know, like here's some boards I made for Parker Coffin. I still use these Japanese Hitachi planters to get stuff done fast. This is where I got my tattoo from, Skill 100, the Skill 100 planter. <laughs> this is Gary Stuber, he's one of the original guys from Moonlight. Still puffing the fumes going at it. World's greatest female shaper, Christine. She does a lot of cool wood pipo boards, you can see. This gun here was probably the first Board I made that won any type of award. And Greg won uh, uh, Biggest Palin of the Year at the XXL Awards. So this is the board and the day. Building surfboards is a lot of fun, but still at the end of the day, it's a business. And you know, the shaping part's the easy part, really. Yeah, these are my Hoosier Slicks. I got a 1966 Plymouth Satellite. It's a cool little hobby. I got to distract myself from this. And I'm always trying to make the thing go faster. <laughs> this is my. 1968 uh, generator shovel head Harley Davidson. Good old fashioned American craftsmanship right there.